welcome back to Bromedy, everybody. Oh, hey. Chris is here again, even though we were like just here technically. Yeah. <laughs> with the end of our top 20. And his friend, Marcus Sensory. My friend. <laughs> I feel like everybody knows now that Crucius and Marcus are friends bound for life <laughs> and settled here on the island bound of by Bound by voice actors. The top 10 voice actors, nonetheless. Boom. We're getting to business now. We're getting into it. So starting off our list at number 10, Wendy Lee. Wendy Lee. Uh, range, now said. Very good. Like, just range. Very good. She's Haruhi. <laughs> She's Haruhi. She's Konata. And she's Faye Valentine. And all three roles, highly recognizable. Yeah. Highly good. All pretty well known, too. Like, I mean, because Cowboy Bebop, obviously, horror, he got really big. And then Lucky Star is like Princess Moe. Yeah. <laughs> Princess <laughs> Moe. Yeah, she, she's amazing. I, mm -hmm. I love Wendy Lee. And like I said, you just said it range. She's very good at her roles. Versatility. And very recognizable. Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and jump into number nine. Brenna Palencia. You know Gossai. <laughs> Like I said, that's my favorite character, probably in an all of anime, mm -hmm. and I love Brenda Palencia. Actually, I don't, she she was in Oron, too, but I don't know a whole bunch of roles she's done. Well, she's also Holo from Spice and Wolf, which is like yeah. one of the reasons that she's so important to me, just because like, there's a select group of people and characters that are just like really nailed, and Brenda Palencia as Holo is one of them, so. But yeah, she's also in Bacchano, mm -hmm. and she did really good in that uh, show as well. So I have a deep appreciation for Brenda, though she's you know, that's all that matters to me. <laughs> but at number eight, Monica Rial. Mon the sweetheart of anime. I'm sorry, it's her, true. Her voice <laughs> is adorable. Yes. <laughs> she especially is. when like she goes on her spells of like epic mm -hmm. voice act, I don't know what you want to call it. Rage fits. She's in a bunch of well known roles. Like uh, she's the girl from Oron. Ringe. Ringe. And she's also Shiro from Dead Man Wonderland. She's Subaki and Soul Leader, and she's also like adopted some more serious and actually like showed off her range in some shows like Michiko and Hotchkin. So like, there's a bunch. Wasn't it Panty and Stalking? Yeah, Panty and Stalking. That she was which, in that people want to watch her have yeah. her cuss crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I can only imagine. I haven't yeah. seen it. I've seen it, and I don't like it. You, okay. I, I, like, I like her being nice. Uh, we have to keep her as our sweet, sweet yeah. Monica Real. <laughs> okay. Well, at number seven, Todd Habercorn. One of my personal favorites. We've spoke very highly of Todd Habercorn. Yeah. He's another one. He's he's like a Trina Nishimura, except like a scale higher, in my opinion. Yeah, I consider him top tier. Because mm -hmm. like, like Greg Aries, he matches the voice flaps really well. Like Trina Nishimura, he can like he like is versatile enough to go into like every single role that he comes into, and he really nails some of his roles. Yeah, high so. recognizability, and I think like when he hits like major roles, like full time protagonists, he hits mm -hmm. them too. It's like it's not something too big for him. Mm -hmm. He does really good with his roles. He's almost like the Nicolas Cage of voice acting. Because oh, yeah. when it comes to freaking the fuck out, he like he's got your number basically. He, he's he's awesome. I, I really appreciate him. Uh, so Watanuki, some of his roles. Um, he's mm -hmm. in Bacano. Um I don't know why I'm stuttering at Habercorn roles. <laughs> he has a ton. He's in Kill a Kill. Bloodline. He's in Bloodline. He's in a whole bunch of stuff, man. Long list. Anyway, moving on. Number six, Vic Mignogna. Vic Mignogna. Tomiki. Edward Elroy. No. Tomiki. <laughs> Tomiki. Tomiki. Well, he gets points for Edward Elroy regardless. Okay. He has impressive range, like we said. Mm -hmm. um, also, not to spoil it because it's kind of a spoiler, but when he plays a bad guy, he's very good as a bad guy as well. And he's also got a few of his own solo projects that are like he—he's got his own like Star Trek remake that he works in. He sings. He sings. He writes music. Not just a voice actor, but he's still credited pretty highly on our list due, to, few, due to his voice acting. A few smaller shows too, like Air. I know he's an Air. Mm -hmm. He takes on the lead role in that show. But going to number five, keeping with the Oron crew, I guess. J. Michael Tatum. J. Michael Tatum. Everybody on the planet. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Steins Gate. Steins Gate. Yeah, Rinturo probably. He's also. Uh, Doma Key, as well as yes. Kraft Lawrence. It's like just a number of good roles. He's Erwin for Attack on Titan fans. <laughs> He's in like a bunch of like tier one anime. Another one of those voices that's highly recognizable. Mm -hmm. that deep, collected tone. Almost too cool for yeah, anime. Too cool for anime. Such an awesome guy. And then at number four, Johnny Young Bosch. Dude, my homie. Bash the Stampede. Bash the Stampede. He's also Ichigo from Bleach. Ichigo from Bleach. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's also Lelouch, uh, Lamperouge, and Kogiyans. That's like three of the biggest roles in anime. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, 
Yeah, like every single role he goes into, he fits it really well. He's got like he's like the king of hero voices for anime, in like my opinion. Like he's just like he's got that voice. That's a protagonistic feel to him. Mm -hmm. Moving he's up to three. Power Ranger too, but he gives a shit. Dude, he was a black Power Ranger. <laughs> Number three, Steve Bloom. Steve Bloom, once again, can you say range? Can Holds say the world record for voice crap, for ton of voices. number of roles voiced. <laughs> I mean, uh, like I said, when you can jump from a role like Spike Spiegel mm -hmm. and doing Digimon voices. Mm -hmm. uh, when you can jump from Spike Spiegel to Re Leron Littner from Gurren Lagann. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I didn't even know that was him for a while. Well, like I said, I, I still think that, because like watching Digimon as a kid, mm -hmm. if you heard some of the noises coming from Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> that was Spike Spiegel. <laughs> Dude, that, that was Spike Spiegel, Mr. Toonami. <laughs> yeah, number three. Like I said, I impressive resume, to say mm -hmm. the least, at yeah. number three. Number two, Crispin Freeman. Crispin Freeman. Alucard? Alucard. Alucard. Alucard? Kion? Kion? Holy shit, Kion. Kion. Like, he's... When we've talked about nailing characters earlier, like, Crispin Freeman is, like, one of the just masters of nailing voices. Like, it... Could you imagine trying to, like, give somebody else one of his roles? It wouldn't work. Like, it just straight up wouldn't work. Because, like, recognizable voice, he, like, owns the character he plays, and just, voice flaps are awesome. The only one that I could say isn't awesome is when he plays El Goddess and Slayers, but that was in the freaking 90s, so no one's was awesome. He's a tough study, too, ain't he? Yeah. He, he goes really, he really deep. He really gets into it, yeah. <laughs> He's one of the super committed. Mm -hmm. Actually, I honestly, I, I almost wish I see him in more stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, except he's, you know his big roles. Yeah. Uh, you don't seem to like... Turnip head. Yeah, he's turnip head in House Moving Castle. Like, come out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's just amongst a sea of just forgettable voice actors. Oh, you got Christian, Christian Bale. Yeah. <laughs> Christian Bale and a few and others. Then, just Crispin Freeman out of nowhere. So For his little five minute monologue. <laughs> wow. What's he doing? Yeah. I wish he would voice act more stuff. Kind of like. Our kind number of like, one. Yep. Colin Clinkenbeard. Colin Clinkenbeard. It tickles he... my heart that she is number one. It does. I, um, I think what we talk about, our number one example of Colin Klingenberry is like, if you've seen Luffy, mm -hmm. and if you've seen all of her other roles, they are completely on they different ends. They're completely end. different. Yeah, and they're both completely drill home. Yeah. She nails her roles. She fits them, per like, she can voice act them perfectly. She's got, like, one of the, like, if not the best, like, lip flap sync of all time. And then she's Yuko from Holland. She's Yuko from Holland. Yuko from Holland. And then she's Rin in Rin Daughters of Mem, Mem Design. And then, like you said earlier, she's Luffy from One Piece. Like, she's got it all. She's got roles in Oron. Mm -hmm. And the thing, what's the thing is, like, she, um, even though being such a big time voice actress, mm -hmm. she does a lot of side roles too. Like, she'll yeah. come in, like, slide in, fill in, do small roles. Mm -hmm. And that's probably because she does, like you said, she does a lot of directing. Yeah, she does directing, casting, which actually, now that I think about it, it'd be hilarious if, like, they just didn't have someone to fit a character, or if they just like didn't have enough voice actors, and they're just like, "Oh, Colleen will do it for us." Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like she's got to be like an awesome person to work with. Mm -hmm. uh, even like when you watch the Oron bloopers, when mm -hmm. she's goofing off with them, <laughs> comes in Luffy. I'm gonna be king of the host club. <laughs> that, that's probably like, one of my favorite moments thinking about Colleen. We have her at number one, like I said, for all these reasons. As she should be. <laughs> and he said, trust me, it took us a long time yeah, to make Yeah, it this took list. us a minute to make these lists. And like I said, we hope nobody is offended. Because and so, we have a deep appreciation for every voice yeah. actor on this list. And even <laughs> the ones that aren't on this list. Mm -hmm. we, we Everything they do in anime is like greatly appreciated. Mm -hmm. And we want to see more out of all of them. And if you have any people that you thought should have been on the list, or you would like to be on the list, it's not going to change, but you know, we'll act like it is. Uh, if you please, want to be on the list, yeah. If you want to be on the list, uh, please file it in the comments below, and we shall respond to you if need be. Send us your resume. <laughs> Send us your resume. Let us know how you've been doing in voice acting in your career. <laughs> Man, I'm hoping for something special in the comments Boom. now. Crispin Freeman out of nowhere. All right. Well, stay. I feel like I should have been higher on this list. <laughs> <laughs> I would. Uh, I would commit my entire channel to Crispin Freeman. <laughs> Everything, fan dubs, all kind of stuff. Very good. But stay uh, tuned to the channel for uh, other top 10 lists we've done. Boom. Smash Bros, stuff like that. Zelda games, songs, <laughs> Sonic characters. Sonic characters. More stuff forthcoming. Our anime reviews are also on here, as well as our podcasts. And some gaming footage. Some gaming footage, yes. But maybe we can get that working here in the near future. Who knows? <laughs> Anything's possible here at the Island of Bromedy. Agreed. But until next time, everybody, we'll see you here at Bromney. Bye, guys. Bye,